Hi everyone, welcome to this new talk. I would like to start it with a thought experiment. Let's, let's imagine something, okay? If, if you're here, you're probably involved in IT or design or business. Maybe you own a company, maybe you're an employee. But let's imagine that I can take away those things from you. Let's imagine that I can just take you from where you are and put it somewhere in a grass field. And I take away from you your computer, your fancy company car, your building, maybe even your, hmm, your customer portfolio, your website, mm, your spreadsheets, all those things that just are there around you. Do you think that without that, you would be able to be successful again? Do you think that you would be able with work to go back to where you were? Actually, I think you would. I think that, okay, maybe it would take some time, but after a while, you'd be able to recover, to hire new colleagues, maybe build a new portfolio, meet some new customers, and just get back on track. And the reason for that is that there is something you will still have that I didn't take away from you. And it's your knowledge. Welcome to this talk. I'm Luc Nellis, product owner of the Knowledge app. And today we're going to see what's new in this app. Because after all, a synonym for employee is knowledge worker. The value that you bring to your company is not in your physical power, it's in your knowledge. It's what you have in your mind, right? If you're an accountant, a lawyer, a designer, a developer, m maybe just a CFO, a marketing guy, whatever, what you bring to the company is your knowledge. It's what makes you valuable. Let's do a last example, just so that you see what I mean. Let's imagine that you can keep the car, the company, the building, the customers, the everything except one thing. Imagine that I take away from you your knowledge. Would you still be valuable for your company? Would you be able to be successful? I don't think so, right? If you forget about law, how can you still be a lawyer, right? How could you be successful as a lawyer? Well, let's take another, another example. Fabien may like me today as a product owner, but if I forget about how Odoo works, how company operates, about design, project management, everything, I don't think I would be allowed to work for Odoo for a long time, you know? Because, as I was saying, your knowledge is your most valuable asset, as a person, but also as a company. So how about you start investing in it? And it's on that premise that last year, a guy that looked a bit similar to me announced a new app called Knowledge, and the app is there so that you can start taking it seriously and invest on it. It helps you do it in three main ways. First, it helps you centralize your knowledge, then it helps you collaborate around it, and then capitalize on it. If you're not familiar with the app, let's go through the basics here. It helps you centralize, because what you will do is create different articles, so text pads, where you can add all the information that you need in your daily work. For this, you can use our powerful in-house editor, meaning you can use different styles, put pictures, underlines, etc. And then you organize everything into neat little structures so that everything is well organized. The next step, of course, is about collaboration because every process, everything related to our knowledge is sort of a group work. So what we did last year is allowing people to put those in sections so that it's shared with the right persons, but also to communicate through emails and the chatter, and also to publish it on the website, because you may want to share your knowledge with the world. Now, once you have this ready, you want to capitalize on it. And for this, we made sure to integrate knowledge in all your different business flows, so that what you have here in your knowledge database can be exploited and can be used. And then, of course, we also added the properties We'll go through those later because it's better to have it on the screen. Ah, yeah, I forgot about it, but I actually have some bad news because, you know, the knowledge app that you've been using and that you've been loving, well, it doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry for that. The good news, though, is that we have a brand new on knowledge version that's much better and will allow you to do way more things. Let's have a look. As I said, the first problem mo most companies face when they're dealing with knowledge is the fact that it's just scattered all over the place, right? So for example, if you're looking for an information, how can you know in advance? 
because it's sometimes in your inbox, in your smartphone, somewhere in your computer, on the intranet, maybe a document somewhere, maybe even in a project management tool, in a CRM, it's just everywhere. What you want instead is to have everything centralized, everything organized so that when you need something, there is a single source of truth. It's your knowledge app and that's where you will look around it. If there's something missing, you just add it and next time you will have it just there. So let's have a look at how you made it better because we've improved the comments, the visibility rules and also worked on some embeds. Let's have a look. So this is my Odoo database. I will open the Knowledge app and here you see I have my articles. Let's create a new one and I will call it Design Project, okay? Um, you see that we had a lot of design changes in Odoo, so let's imagine we're changing those and we're working on it. Mm, I'm not the big fan of this cover. Let's do, yeah, this one is great. Perfect. So I start working here and I start adding the documentation related to this project. And then at some point, of course, we have to use some files, right? So instead of having it in attachment, in an inbox, somewhere uploaded on the internet, I will just use my command here. There you go. And I add it inside my article. Now, if I need to read it, I don't even need to download it. I can just click and I get a preview, okay? There you go. You can just scroll around and read the document. We keep working and adding some things. And then something else that we could use, for example, is a video. Let's say we need to produce a movie uh, and I want to have a movie instead here. So what we do here is I go back to another article where I have a link schedule. I take this link here because you see here, instead I want to put a video. So I do slash video, I paste the link here and I get my video. So you see the video, well, it's on YouTube. It al it's already online and available, but I want to make sure that everything is centralized into a single place so that people don't have to look around. Again, if you're building a documentation, if you're detailing processes, etc., a video is usually a great way to show how things work. But let's go further. Mm, let's say that, you know, this is a design project, so we're using Odoo Project Management Tool, but I want to go further in my centralization. What I do is I can just leave knowledge, I can go to project, and I have here my project research and development. Now, my project here, you see it has a lot of tasks, including some that are tagged as being for design. What I do is I search for those so that only those appear. And through the gear icon here, I can go here, insert view in article. I can look for my article. So it was the design project. There you go. And here I'm getting my project right inside my article. S and you can still work with it, okay? If I click on the task here, I'm really opening the task. So with we talk about centralization, we're not creating copies. We're using the same documents, but just making it available in other places. But this is fully operational. I can still search, drag and drop, open task, etc. Very neat. Everything is centralized. Now I can start working on it. And then, of course, there are some documents that, well, it's needed for everyone, but it's really a bit cumbersome to have it under your nose all the time. So what we do, for example, is you see here in my workspace, I have a button here, join a hidden article. And I can see articles that are not displayed by default in the menu. If I click on it, well, this is the HR FAQ. So of course, I need to read it because at some point I may have questions about the expense, about the car policy, etc. But when I work on my design things, I don't need to see it. So you see that the article here is only displayed to its members. Why is that? Well, because in the configuration here, in the share tool, you see that the visibility is for members only, meaning that only those will see it here. The others, if they want it, they can just find it through here and jump on it. But if I don't need it anymore, it's fine. I can just keep on working and it will go away. Now that we have everything centralized, let's think about the next challenge. Because of course, once you start dealing with documents and files, the problem is that as a team, 
everybody keeps having its own copies and then you have a ton of different versions. Some people mail their versions, some people put it online. It's just a mess. So instead of being unsynced, you want to have something where everybody collaborates. And that's something we've worked on quite a lot because it's really crucial in the way we work now. We are collaboration can even be asynchronous and you don't even meet the people. You just work on the documents together. Let's have a look those as comments, the portal and the history. Let's take an example here. I have a file here and you see I have shared it with a few people. So it's not public, it's just shared with a few colleagues. You see that Joel is a guest, meaning that this person is a customer, is not an internal user, but I can still invite him on the document and allow him to edit it. You see that here, he can also add comments, just as Mark did here. So you see here, Mark left a comment by highlight highlighting text, and I can reply, I can react, etc. The same for Joel here. I can just reply if needed, or I can mark the thread as closed if I consider that we dealt with the remark. The idea is we're all collaborating on the file. So when you have a remark, you want to make sure that it's about this specific text here. For example, here I would say need to rephrase. There you go. My colleagues will know that there's something to change here. Of course, the more people work on a file, the more you collaborate on things, the more chances you have for a mess up, right? So let's take an example. I have a private file here. It's mine, but you know, at some point I did a mistake with my keyboard and I'm supposed to call a guy called Mike, but I lost the number. This is a typo, I just made a mistake. No problem, I can just open the revision history here and you can see that I have a lot of versions of this document. So this one, well, is not gonna help, but this one, you see, a few hours ago, the number was here, so I can just retrieve it. If you want, you can also compare the versions and you can see that indeed here, I had done a change. If you're working with other people, you can see what other people changed so that you can just keep track of the changes of the document. And here, I can just go back to a past version through the button here and call Mike. Job's done. Okay. Well, as we said, having a lot of knowledge is cool, but you need to use it, right? Having a huge pile of books is great, but if you don't read it, if you don't apply what they teach you, not that great. So what you want is not just to sit on top of all your knowledge, is to capitalize on it. So that's something we always strive for, and I will show you how we did it. Let's go back to my database. You may have seen this new button here, Browse Templates. The idea is that we provide every user a library of different templates that they can just browse and load in the database if needed. We know that maybe it's not something you will use per se, like tiny house the catalog, maybe you're not in the business or you just have other models. But what we want to show you is that this is not just a text pad, a knowledge article, let's load this one. A knowledge article can have interactive table of contents, it can have views with fields, it can have a lot of different things that you can do. So the idea is show you that well, there's a lot that can be done and you can really capitalize on your documents when you start going. Then, of course, I know some technical people around here that are wondering, can I add my own templates? The idea is yes. So this is the engine that you will be able to use. If, for example, there are some documents that you need to fill in all the time. Once you have those, it's pretty cool. But let's say, for example, this, I want to take it to a meeting and it's a meeting where I want take my computer. I just have a few notes here and I like to maybe complete it by hand. What I can do once I'm happy with the file is just open the tool here and just export. What I get here is a very clean PDF that I can print or that I can send to someone else if I want them to have a static version instead of being able to collaborate. And now databases. That's the most interesting part for me. Okay, so let's have a look. I will create a new article. I will call it movies I need to watch. Because you know, just as everyone, I think, I keep getting recommendations about movie I should watch, but I just always forget about it. I just don't remember. 
And at some point, my friends asked me, did you see that movie I told you? And I'm like, oh, no, I forgot. So let's change that and let's manage this in knowledge. I will add a Kanban of movies. What we're doing here looks a bit like project, right? We are using the same concepts. We have the different stages here and we will create our own items. I can even rename this and call it, for example, scheduled. What I'm going to do here now is to create new movies. So, so some items that I want to track. For example, there's a movie called Odugamp that I need to watch. And there's a TV show called well, How I Met Odoo. So those are here. Now, maybe I want to be storing a few more information about those. And that's where the properties come in handy. I can just click on here and open the property tool. For example, on my movies that live inside my article, I want to keep track of how long those movies are. And I will display it in the card. For example, this movie is 75 minutes. When I go back to my article here, you see that now it's displayed. So I'm customizing my own database without doing code, without using Studio. It's just my own stuff here. Now, if I have to schedule those movies, I would like maybe to have a calendar. So I do slash calendar and I will add movie schedule. So this is another way of looking at those here. For example, this is my calendar and I will add a new movie that I will watch here. So this is, for example, Game of Odoo and it's a TV show that someone told me about. So why not? You see that I have a start and end date so that when I go back here, it's here. So I can say it's scheduled because when I scroll down, you see that it's in my calendar. So what I mean with that is that you can create your own custom database with your own items, your own fields, your own views. And from there, you could share it and just create basically any system that you want. Uh, you could add lists, you can do whatever. For example, let's say that I want to track which type of movie that is. So I will say tags. I will add some tags and I will say fun, action, display in cards. Hop. When I go back to my movies here, it's displayed. But of course, I can also sh search in the properties for the one that have the tags fun. So you see, you can create your own Odoo system inside an article that can be shared. So how about you start investing in your knowledge? You've seen all the things that can be done, but you have to do it for it to be useful. Because what you want is to start first by centralizing your information. You need to make sure that everything is at the same place, as centralized as we can. And you, you saw that we can go really far with even some audio views, some videos, some files, etc. Then if you think that this knowledge maybe is not common use because it's something that needs to be accessed some of the time, you can change the visibility rules and you can add the embeds to make sure that you don't even have to look around in Odoo. It's just there in your article. Then you can collaborate on your knowledge, take part into this group work by, for example, commenting, exchanging ideas, or just inviting other people to join in and collaborate, add some remarks, etc. It can be a colleague that's not on your database. It can be a supplier, a customer, whatever. You can add anybody. If there's a mess up happening, because those happen, you can just jump back to a past version and job's done, no drama. Finally, once you have those going, you will be able to capitalize on it, either by creating a complex system, like we showed in the templates, or your own database, because you have maybe some specific flows, or maybe just by creating documents that can easily be exported, printed, and used in paper. The call is yours, but you need to make sure that you use this knowledge. Oh yeah, um, a last thing. Um, we're in 220 20 and 23, right? So if you're looking for inspiration, a way to rephrase something or extra ideas, you can just ask ChatGPT because it's straight integrated in the editor. Thank you for your time. I hope you learn a few things and uh, that you're just as us excited to use the new version. If you have any question, just stand by and we'll go through those in a while. Thank you and see you soon. Otherwise, I'm, an, I'm available at the booth anyway. 
Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Uh, meanwhile, you, um, uh, you write your questions on the pad. Uh, yep. One already came. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how do you add the copy button? The copy button? Yes. Ah, yeah. Um, I can. Sh I mean, if you get me excited, I'm going to talk for a long time again. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, So that's a really cool feature. The idea is you do slash clipboard, and you insert a clipboard where you can add your content. For example, I say hello world here. This is content that I'm going to reuse all the time. Let's take a quick example. Now, whenever I need this content, for example, I'm working in a project. I'm going fast here so that we can answer other questions. So I'm here, and you know here, there's a content I, I need to use. It's centralized in my knowledge system. We have this template. You can just jump here to the article. I think it was in this one. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, here. You see that because I'm coming from a task, Odoo knows that I may be trying to use this integration, and it's telling me, do you want to use that as a description? If I click on it, there you go, I have the content that will arrive. Yeah, bad luck, I got a small bug, but it will arrive right here. You can do it for filling some pads and also for some messages, uh, for example, to replace some email templates. Um, I have an issue with my database here, but it will work just fine on your side. OK, thank you, Luke. Uh, there are many questions, so I invite you to uh, come and join Luke at the booth at the end of the whole seven. Uh, but here uh, I have another question. What mm -hmm. is the relationship between documents and knowledge? Do they link? And when to use what? Mm, it's, yeah, I would say different needs. Uh, documents is really handy, I think, if you receive a lot of incoming documents. For example, your, the classic example is our vendor bills that are just received through an email gateway. So you put an email address and they just send those. Um, you don't want to ask your supplier to upload those PDFs into knowledge. doesn't make much sense. And you want to use the OCR that is uh, linked to document, the document flow. Um, but if you're building your own documentation, I would try as much as possible to uh, try to centralize it in a knowledge base so that it's really handy because knowledge, I think document is more to really talk about the files. But if you have some extra content, it's, it's easier to have it in a pad where you can just write up and down, etc. OK. And last question, can the action add to knowledge also be included in user created apps? Uh, it will appear on most views that we support. So whenever you have a list, a uh, form view, a calendar, a Gantt, etc., the button will appear, and you can inject those data directly into any article. All right. And uh, I think we, we're running out of time. All right. uh, yes. So maybe uh, you can meet Luke at the booth. Yeah, uh, at marketing the end booth. Of the whole, the yeah. Seven. Thank All right. You. Thank you.